Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. I've got a very short video tutorial that will show you how to put a Word doc on Weebly. Uh, just before I do so, if you haven't tried Weebly before, there's a link to do so in the description for this video that will take you through to a free trial version of Weebly. So if you want to utilize it for completely free, um, then just click the link down below. So if you've got a Google Doc or a Word Doc, how it's referred to or it used to be referred to, um, I'm presuming that you're kind of, you know, utilizing the Drive Online cloud version of Word um, to do so. Um, I mean, there's a, a num numerous ways to do this. The first one would be the simplest way. If you can navigate to where the document is in Drive, you can right click it and hit share. Or if you've got the, the document open, if you click the share button and just make sure that, you know, I'm within an organization at the moment. So if you make sure that that's unrestricted and um, dependent on, you know, the ownership of your account and then copy the link, um, you could obviously just, you know, place it as a link on your site. The other way to go about it, that's kind of the simplest way, you know, you just sort of click this link and it'll take you through to a Word doc. Um, you could download it as a Word document and that would also then work for um, an offline version of Word if you're using the desktop version, for example. So you've got the Word document, um, you know, on, on a local space. I've just downloaded it. Um, then you'd go to your Weebly uh, website editor and then you'd hit file which is right there under media. And if you just drag that file icon in uh, as an element to your website, and then it's asking you to click there to upload. And if you just hit upload file, um, I'm just gonna go into my recent downloads and drag that pet resume template in there. And then that'll be available for anyone on your website then to just download directly as a Google doc. However, if you wanna display um, your Google doc on the page as opposed to just offering it as a, a download file or a link. Uh, this would be the third way then and final way to do it. You could do so through embedding it. So when you embed something on your Weebly site, you obviously use the little um, embed element or embed code. Um, so if you drag that in and as an element, and then if you go back to your uh, Google Doc, and then you need to hit file, share and then publish to web okay so that's the option that you need to find there and then um you'll need to hit the embed uh, tab here on the right hand side if you've not published it previously this will prompt you then this will just be a blue button to um you know publish the link and then if you have published it like i just did um this will just be the code that you need okay so either way just hit the button that says publish now or if it's already there grab that code and as you can see i'm on a mac so it's telling me to press command and c if you're on a pc it'll be control and c to copy it then head back to weebly and then once you're there you can hit edit custom html on the little embed code element uh, paste that code in there and then once you click away you'll see that that Google Doc is embedded in there. And, you know, because I was within, within an organization, um, I was unable to view it, you know, because um, it's restricted to people within the organization. That's what the prompt is saying there, if that makes sense to you. Uh, so, yeah, those are the kind of three primary ways then that you'd be able to either offer the file as a download, um, offer it as a link, or embed it so it's visually sort of on display on your website okay and you just sort of resize the box and house it on a page that's suitable to sort of embed it then you know so those are the three ways to go and go about it and that concludes the tutorial so like i said there's a link in the description to access your own free copy of weebly so click that if you want to give it a go if you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more content of this nature give us a like and subscribe to the channel and if you've got any questions or suggestions for future videos leave them as comments down below thank you very much